Hey guys, it's Evus here and now we're gonna take 10,860 million to the glory days. We're gonna take them for 10 seasons and we're just gonna try to actually make them the best team in Munchen. They're currently in the third Bundesliga, but we're gonna change that, guys. We're gonna develop them. We're gonna bring them back to the Bundesliga and we're, of course, gonna try to compete with Bayern Munich. So the aims for these 10 seasons is gonna be just win the Bundesliga multiple times, of course, win the Champions League, hopefully multiple times, don't get sacked because this is also gonna be a huge huge possibility that we can get sacked i highly doubt we're gonna be sacked but hey you never know so let's just select tsv munchen uh, 1860 and let's hope we can actually change them and make them better team than bar munchen of course if you like this at rebuilds then please leave a like and also subscribe to my youtube channel guys if you haven't already this will help me massively to actually continue growing so let's start it this is how the current squad is looking but just don't attach to anyone guys because i highly doubt that we're actually gonna use anyone by the end of this rebuild series but hey you never know maybe someone can develop to 90 rated but highly doubt so and for us actually to bring this team back to the glory days and to the bundesliga we have only two millions but we're in the third league so of course this is what we should expect so with these two million i'm not gonna buy any players for this season what i'm actually gonna do i'm just gonna improve our scouts and i'm gonna sign some of them and send them to actually find a new talents whether we're actually gonna need to go further in the german league we do have some beasts in the academy guys this christian richter he is currently a 16 years old 57 overall his potential is between 75 and 94 and i'm gonna promote him and hopefully he can become one of the club legends and there it is our first player that is leaving the club eric talik for 1.45 million guys it's crazy good so that means now we at least do have the money to actually send our scouts to actually find nice talents let's go second player that is leaving the club and we again make a lot of money for him this fabian greilinger 1.85 million i don't know how these people are actually offering us so much money for these players they're young like this guy i think was 21 or 22 years old but nice nice this money will help us massively guys end of the first season and we actually smashed it in the third league guys this is crazy good what we managed to achieve in the third league we basically lost only three times this is crazy good and now i'm gonna show you how many good players we actually managed to find or our scouters actually managed to find and this is actually the, the players that the scouts managed to find look at their potential like the players that we here managed to find is honestly ridiculously with high potential for example this guy Diego Pinto potential between 85 and 91 I'm gonna promote him right now to the senior this guy 82 94 potential this is crazy good guys like I'm gonna promote every single one that is actually able to be promoted this guy between 86 and 94 potential this is crazy good so next season here again Theodore Becker 83 89 center mid sensational so I really hope that next season we can definitely develop our players even more and of course qualify for the Bundesliga it's gonna be super difficult but I really hope that the board can actually cheer me up with more money because for this season we couldn't manage to sign anyone guys this was basically ridiculously hard for us to actually sign anyone and no matter of that we managed to win the third league board is unhappy with me like why i basically put them into the first place in the third league develop their squad find so many young talents and you're unhappy what do you expect from me like i really don't get it but hey at least so far we're not sacked we're going to the second division so let's do it so beginning of the second season when the team looks a little bit worse than the previous one but hey we're gonna get there guys just trust me so this is a lot of young players here from our academy right now are here starting the, in the season i still don't know if it's gonna be a good idea or not a good idea i don't think we're actually gonna go through to the bundesliga with the first try but hey you never know sadly the board didn't back us so we do have only three million budget which is basically nothing i cannot sign basically anyone i'm just gonna look on the free agent market if we can find someone good some like some region or something like that but if we cannot then probably i'm just gonna spend all of the money just to send our scouts somewhere else and then just try to improve the team massively with young stars this is gonna be it until we 
go to the Bundesliga and from there on it's gonna be just walk in the park in my opinion the youngster are gonna develop we can add some players but hey you never know how difficult this is gonna be for us actually to go to the Bundesliga major rating is looking super bad still like 52 major ratings are really bad so it, we're really close to actually getting sacked I really hope this is not gonna be the case oh my god look what we managed to find guys in the free agency Lorenzo Battaglia is an 18 year old Italian guy with a rating of 79 his current market value is 23 million and I'm gonna try to sign him this is gonna be crazy he's actually gonna become our first signing of course if we somehow manage to sign him oh he wants only 3.7k per week come on this is our first sign this is crazy he's 79 rated always check your free agents market guys every single check that let's go I managed to sign another free agent Bilal Butuba he's 74 rated overall we managed to get him for I think 7k per week which is incredible and he's gonna improve our squad massively guys he's 24 years old so pretty pretty happy with it and now with all of the moves this is how the squad is looking we haven't signed anyone else like other than the defender and the right mid from the free agency so let's just quick sim now the second season and let's see can we actually survive in the second Bundesliga with this team so end of the second season and we ended the season as a 10th spot in the second Bundesliga in my opinion we did good based on the squad that we actually used so pretty happy with it we stayed in the Bundesliga our players developed we're probably gonna receive more money the next season but to be honest with you I'm feeling like I'm doing a free agent rebuild mode right now because we're only using free agents so far we couldn't buy a single player of course this is based on the money that the board is giving us look at this guy Lorenzo Battaglia he's now an 83 overall he's 19 years old guys it's crazy good so this Butuba who we actually managed to sign also as a free agent scored 20 goals then this Richter who is from our academy he scored nine goals and assist eight times this is good let's jump into the third season and let's see how much money this time the board is actually gonna give us hopefully more than 10 million but knowing the board probably they're gonna give us like 5 million and the aim is gonna be just to stay in the second of this league but hey let's see let's see what the board thinks about it so third season and you actually think that the board will help us actually go to the Bundesliga with some money no you're completely wrong they gave us only 4 million guys like what is that come on give us more money so the squad is looking like that but I think it's gonna be improved massively and of course we needed to rely on free agents so that's why I put some free agents to be searched I'm gonna show you right now what type of player we actually managed to find, guys. Oh no, he signed for Alcazi Alkmaar. No. Ah, this was a sensational player that we managed to find and someone signed him. So this is gonna be the team that we're actually gonna look forward for the third season in the second Bundesliga. I think this team can do well, at least probably go to the promotion like uh, playoffs or something. Is it gonna happen? Highly doubt because based on our boards, they want us to actually go there, but they don't want us to give us, to give us money. So I'm gonna try my best. Of course, we're gonna look again in the free agency because we only have 4 million. With 4 million, we can basically buy no one so let's see let's see can we actually somehow manage to go to the Bundesliga because we definitely need to start like upgrading the team to go to the Bundesliga if we actually of course want to accomplish that winning the Champions League winning the Bundesliga becoming a better club than Bayern because Bayern right now is far 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 away from us but at least we're in the second Bundesliga we stayed there in the last season now let's go up well 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 look what type of offer we received for real madrid 54.9 million for lorenzo battaglia but i'm not gonna sell him guys i think this guy can develop to 90 plus for sure so that's why so sorry real madrid i know that this can improve our team massively but i'm not gonna sell him i need him i need this guy for us actually to keep as many clean sheets as possible so he's staying for sure but wow what an offer we received after three seasons come on so we managed actually to finish the season in the third spot the third season we finished at a third spot which is sensational in my opinion so that means we're actually gonna be right now in the playoff battle to actually go to the bundesliga and we did it thanks to men's guys i'm gonna show you two right now so I made a huge decision in January, guys, and I signed this for forward in Bauergun from Arsenal on a short loan. Sadly, it could not have been with an option to buy, but he really wants to stay in the club. He performed really well, like five goals, two assists. He helped us actually go to the promotion, to the playoffs. So I really think I'm going to try somehow to keep him, of course, if we manage actually to go to the Bundesliga. But this guy, look at this guy. He's already a 78 overall, plus 12. This is crazy good. 
good and of course Butuba who is sensational like this is an amazing an amazing free agent and of course where without the best center back right now in the game Lorenzo Battaglia he is now an 86 overall guys a 20 year old uh, 86 rated wow this is crazy good and the first leg of this playoff we actually won 1-0 so now I'm just gonna quick sim the second leg so let's see, can we go through to the next round? Yes, yes, we can. We are going to the Bundesliga, guys. After three seasons, from the third league to the second league, we spent two seasons in the second league, and now we're in the Bundesliga. Let's go. And finally, finally, the, by the beginning of the fourth season, we do have money. We have 28 million to spend, guys. This is crazy, crazy good amount of money for our club. Like we start with 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, now 28. It's such a nice increase, but of course, First thing that I'm gonna try to do is just look in the free agency market because 28 million cannot buy us a lot of players so that's why we need to rely first of all on the free agents and then we're gonna probably try to sign Barragan because he really gave me this nice attitude that he really wants to stay at our club but we sadly couldn't agree on Arsenal on a loan with a buy option but now maybe they can agree actually to sell it to us and speaking of free agents look at this guy Esteban Alonso 19 years old 8 83 rated his current market value is 78.5 million and we can approach to sign him wow 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 like honestly this is probably the regen of Lionel Messi guys honestly and for sure he's gonna agree on a deal with us look at it 24k come on let's go we signed probably the new Messi <laughs> nice and maybe this is actually the regen of Cristiano Ronaldo this guy had such a sensational scouts uh, stats I really don't know how much his uh, overall is but we're gonna sign him because I really don't want to risk it that someone else we're actually gonna sign him and he wants 20k so you can have it I think we got Messi and Ronaldo in the same move guys like this is crazy good right now we honestly got Ronaldo, guys. Look at he, this guy, Rodrigo Barros. He's a 19 years old and 81 rated. And then this guy, Esteban Alonso, 19 years old, 83 rated. So basically, we got Messi and Ronaldo in the same free agency market. This is crazy. Like, this is ridiculous. And this is how actually our squad is looking right now. We definitely need to improve two positions. And I think only by the uh, happiness of the player, you can find out which two positions this is it. This is the left back and the left center mid other than that i think the team looks super super good the players develop nicely with this team we can definitely stay in the bundesliga and maybe even qualify for one of the european competitions this will be sensational if we can manage to do that so with the 26 million that i do have right now i'm just gonna try to buy a left back and also a left center mid probably i'm gonna search for young and promising talents that can actually develop even better for our team but let's see i don't have that much money so i'm not 100 sure how efficient i can be with the money but i'm gonna give my best so let me just show you which two players now i'm gonna get and there it is our first biggest signing for this rebuild with munchen 1860 alejandro balde who else i'm buying him every single time guys but this guy is honestly unreal the best left back in my opinion and we definitely need a left back so he is gonna join us super happy to have him in the squad now i think the squad looks pretty much complete so this is now how the squad is looking in my opinion this squad is sensational that we managed to build in like four seasons i know we had super luck with uh, buying this alonso and barros but hey it is part of the game and of course with Bataglia like who was sensational for us so far the best player that we managed to sign as a free agent of course most of our players here as a free agent to be honest with you or from the academy only Balde is bought but wow 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 what a team so let's see let's see how it's gonna be first season in the bundesliga i expect big things from this club around 60 percent of you that are watching my content are not subscribers to the channel so if you enjoy what i'm doing then please leave a like and also subscribe to my youtube channel guys so i can continue my journey and this is how the fourth season is ending guys we're ending in the 14th spot in the bundesliga not a great performance to be honest with you i really expected much much better things than this uh, from this squad the squad looks ridiculous but somehow the boys probably needed 
some extra experience and probably from the next season we are gonna actually start winning more and more goals i think we need a better goalkeeper and a better defender next to battaglia other than that i think the players are really good like developing nicely the cdms probably need a little bit of improvement but striker right winger they're looking good let's now check out the stats this is not good richter is a top goal scorer with seven goals then alonso seven goals baros seven goals but Tobias seven goals and basically that's it our defender scored three goals nice so beginning of the fifth season and this is how the squad is looking in my opinion pretty good squad we managed to build but we are lacking in at least three positions like we need a cdm we need a center back and we need probably a better goalkeeper these are our substitute it's looking not great but at least i think for a middle table team in the bundesliga it looks really nice i really hope that we can find a better center back because this guy is already i think 30 years old so we only have 19 million to spend guys it's a ridiculous small amount of money wow guys basically while i was actually searching in the free agent market we found a regen of robert Lewandowski. michael wilk or michael wilk is currently a 21 year old 85 rated guys this is crazy and we need somehow to fit him with our portuguese ronaldo so how is it gonna happen don't know so here i'm just gonna offer him 70k and let's hope he can actually agree that's a reasonable offer and this is a nice player come on so after we signed the regen of robert Lewandowski, i think this is the right thing just to start him and this Barros, the portuguese guy just together alonso the argentinian new messi is gonna be on the right wing or right mid slash position richter can also play as a left mid so i'm also gonna give him the chance to actually play there we're still lacking in a center back and i don't have the money guys we only have six million which basically means we cannot buy anyone let's see let's see maybe the next time we're gonna see each other is by the end of the fifth season or just in the between somewhere i still don't know it depends how well or how bad we're actually gonna be and then in the january transfer window we can just figure it out if we're actually gonna sign anyone or we're actually gonna continue with this team until the end of the season so wish me luck that we're actually gonna achieve european competition next year because we definitely need we're still after this is only five seasons left and we need still to beat like to win the bundesliga to win the champions league but first we need to qualify for the champions league to even have the chance to win it so yeah let's see let's see end of the fifth season still no european competition for the next one we ended the season as a 10th place which is again good but not great i honestly expected much more from this team but hey what can you do they still need to grow and we definitely need like much much more money to actually start improving the team like there are so many key positions that we are lacking so much and we just cannot make the move guys it's so sad but hey it is what it is next season we're gonna push for sure for everything but let me just show you now how the stats of the players are looking and how they actually developed they developed nice at least our strikers like this guy the new Lewandowski he is already 98 plus 5 guys this is crazy good but Barros only 14 goals and 5 assists, a Vilk with 23 goals sorry, and 10 assists, but this is going to be the end of the 5th season, nothing spectacular happened otherwise, so let's hope the next one is going to be much much better guys. So halfway through, 5 seasons are already done, this is the squad that we are rocking right now, we need a new center back, we need 2 new CDMs, like 2 for sure 2, and we need, we need a better goalkeeper, everything else is perfect in my opinion. Sadly, the board only give us 30 one million to actually improve the squad i'm gonna try to do my best to actually sell probably some players so we can actually have a little bit more money so we can actually start spending them but this is how it's looking right now again i'm just gonna search in the free agent market this is basically like a free agent club right now we're building the best regions right now in the game so yeah i'm gonna try to do that and if i find someone i'm gonna show it to you well 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 look who is a free agent kdb at 36 year old still an 86 rated which is a superb in my opinion and he's a free agent somehow so we're just gonna approach him i think he can be the perfect center mid that we definitely need i'm gonna offer him probably here two years deal i really hope he actually accept that so let's see come on kdb accept it yes he wants oh he wants only 27k come come to munchen come let's go nice 
All right, so after the recent signing, this is how the squad is looking much, much better than the previous season, but still we need to actually find better players, especially in the CDM position. We don't have sadly a lot of money left. We do have 23 million, but look what type of region I found, guys. I found the new K or Navas, this Thomas Acuna. He's an 18 years old and he's 82 overall, guys. This is crazy good. And finally, guys, Dylan Kent, the goalkeeper that we signed as a free agent, the Australian guy. We managed to sell to Newcastle for 50 million. Let's go. This is a huge, huge profit right now. And now we're going to have a lot of money that we can invest in a good CDM and a good center back. And I think we are done for the season. This Arsenal, guys, these Arsenals are crazy. 65.5 million for a right back that we basically not going to use. Now we do have 123 million. And now is the right time to buy one of the best CDM slash center mid that are right now in the game. Let me show who that is. And this, of course, none other than Edward Kamavinga our new CDM slash center mid I think he can help us massively guys he's currently an 89 overall we paid so much money for him to Liverpool but hey doesn't matter most important thing is that we managed to get him and we sadly needed to uh, get rid of Bilal but hey this is part of life he helped us so much we're gonna remember him forever but we needed him guys we just needed him so now this is how the the team is looking in my opinion sensational if we don't manage to achieve like top six in this season this is gonna be such a failure so let's just jump into the simulation and let's hope by the end of this season we're gonna be in the champions league spot i really hope so so after six tough seasons we managed to finish second in the bundesliga above Bayern München, which was actually our aim so so one part of the challenge is already complete. We finished above Bayern, but this is not ending, guys. We have still four more seasons to actually win everything, like Champions League, Bundesliga. This is how the team is looking right now. Ridiculous, like ridiculous. I know KDB gave us so much in this season, but sadly he is decreasing. So maybe he, we are going to use him as a bench player. But these are the stats of the player. This guy is already an 85 as a 19-year-old goal. Old guys, this is crazy. Barros... I don't know why he only plus one, but he's already scoring like crazy. 26 goals, two assists. Richter, nine goals, 10 assists. Not bad. Alonso, nine goals, seven assists. Only this Wilk. I don't know why he only scored six goals. This is weird, to be honest with you. But hey, we are definitely the favorites next season to win it all, in my opinion. Like, manager rating is also higher. We just probably gonna need a good, good uh, center back and just a good midfielder. And I think we're gonna be basically done. So everyone is gonna be above 90. I think by the end of this challenge which is sensational like honestly unbelievable so in the beginning of the seventh season this is how the team is looking right now in my opinion we definitely need a better center back probably also a better center mid than KDB this is gonna be probably the two positions that we can actually upgrade but of course the board doesn't think that we need a lot of players because they are giving us only 67 million we're in the Champions League and we finished last season and you are giving us only 67 million come on board you should be better than that but at least of course the beauty of the free agency market we're gonna try to find some regions that will actually help us team help our team to actually boost and let me show you what type of players we're actually gonna find so there it is our first new signing Amadou Kamara he's an 83 overall center back like honestly this is crazy what you can get from this free agency market I don't know the, from which player he's a region but he's from Cameroon he's 18 years old and he's already an 83 overall crazy stuff like honestly crazy stuff so next player we signed is this Dragovic from Serbia he's an 18 or 19 years old again 81 overall crazy stuff no he's 21 years old sorry my bad we just signed the region of Mohamed Salah guys this Jamal Hassan is from Egypt he's 18 years old and he's an 81 overall and we got our biggest biggest signing guys we got Vinicius Jr. from Real Madrid his contract is actually gonna expire next year so that's why we managed to get him for super cheap I mean less super cheap is not like 65 million I think plus and the Egyptian region of Mo Salah but I think Vinny Jr. can solve all of our problems and I think and our team now is just complete guys this looks so beautiful like vinicius jr in a munchen 1860 jersey like who have been thought about it when we started but wow what a journey like what a journey so far and we're still in the seventh season guys there's so many stuff actually to happen yet that are not have happened 
We do have around 7 players who are around above 90 or around 90 rate, which is crazy. And we also do have the new Polish Lewandowski on the bench. This Vilk, sadly I need to uh, sacrifice one of them because of Vinicius Jr. But I think this attack can do a sensational stuff, guys. We do have also Richter as a cam. Kamavinga is the center mid. De Bruyne is sadly gonna retire after this year. So I'm just gonna use him until the last moment. We can actually use him. The defense looks nice. The goalkeeper looks nice. If we don't win it... I I really don't know what we can expect from this team but yeah let's start with the simulation probably we're gonna see each other in probably january to find out actually how we're doing in the bundesliga and also in the champions league for the first time we are in the champions league come on munich 1860 Ooh, so middle in the season we are second in the bundesliga with only two points behind munich and gladbach so in the champions league we finished second in our group very interesting manchester united finished first and in the round of 16 we're gonna play inter oh and let's see who we're gonna play manchester united Ooh, they're gonna play PSG good that we finish second then let's now continue with the simulation and we're gonna find out if we actually gonna have a chance to actually win anything this season I really hope so come on boys welcome to the end of season seven guys and we won the Bundesliga we finished above Bayern with only two points but it was so close at the end Leipzig needed to drop points for us actually to win it and they did that so in the round of 16 we actually eliminated Inter 4-2 on aggregate in the quarterfinals funny enough we faced Paris Saint Germain who faced Manchester United in the previous one and we eliminated them 5-3 on aggregate in the semi-finals we eliminate Milan guys so that means we are in the final against Juventus let's see let's see can we actually win our first major trophy it's gonna be ridiculously good oh they do have Pedri oh, oh, oh. nice and Ramsdale and Vlahovic oh they have a really nice squad and Saliba oh wow so let's actually quick see in the game. I'm not going to play the highlights. Maybe in the last season or something we can do that. But let's see. Can we win Juventus here in the Champions League? Yes, we can. Ooh, but we needed an overtime to actually do that. Vinny Jr. with a hat trick. Nice. No, with four goals. Wow. What a signing, guys. What a sign. So that means we won the Champions League and the Bundesliga in the seventh season, guys. This is crazy good. Top goal scorer, Vinicius Jr., 29 goals, 7 assists. Then Barros, 25 goals. 5 assists, Alonso 10 goals 4, 14 assists, so our attack really produced here a lot of goals now it's the 8th season and we definitely need to upgrade 2 positions in my opinion, this is how the squad is looking and in my opinion we definitely need a better center back that can be close to 90 rated and just a better center mid guys, if we manage to sign these 2 players that are gonna be close to 90 rate or above 90 rate I think we're actually gonna achieve also the 3rd and last challenge for this for this rebuild to actually have the whole squad to be 98 so apparently winning the champions league and also winning the bundesliga was enough for our board to give us over 100 million so finally thank you thank you board so for the next three season if we don't win anything back to back to back to back this is gonna be a failure in my opinion with this squad i highly doubt that there will be a squad better than ours so let's just start buying now, now players and let's hope we can upgrade this team even more than now and the first player that's actually gonna join our club is gonna be william saliba Super excited to have him in the squad. He's currently an 89 rated overall, so I think he can improve the team massively and he can upgrade to actually be 90 after all of these 10 seasons are done. So let's welcome him into the club. We got him for super cheap from Juventus, but his contract was expiring and I used one of our center backs and only 50 million or 48 million to actually get him. So come on and now i think we got the last part of the puzzle we got gravenberg from liverpool he's currently at 88 overall we got him for 105 million and five percent sell on close but i think this guy can stabilize our midfield super super much with kamavinga two amazing amazing midfielders and with richter in front of them Oof. Just imagine, just imagine this season how many goals and assists they're gonna have, guys. It's gonna be crazy good. Ooh, we are in the middle of January and look at how the squad is developing. Only two players are now under 90, guys. Gravenberg is 89 and the goalkeeper is 88. Everyone else is 90 or above 90. In the Bundesliga, we have six points lead to the second Leverkusen. Walk in the park, guys. Just walk in the park. But in the meantime, we actually won two cups. First, we won the Super Cup here 2-1 against Werder Bremen. 
Bremen. And then we won the UEFA Super Cup against Borussia Dortmund. We won on penalties, so we added two more cups to our collection. Uh, let's now see how we're actually doing in the Champions League because there is a little bit tricky in my opinion. So, oh, we finished the group at first place. Wow, what a tough group. Nine, uh, nine uh, points we do have, then nine, nine and seven points have the others. Wow, wow, wow. And in a round of 16, we're going, oh, we're going to face Inter. Not bad, not bad, but definitely doable. End of the eighth season, and of course, we managed to win the Bundesliga. This time, pretty comfortable compared to the last time we destroyed Bayern. We have 18 more points than Bayern München, guys. This is crazy good, crazy, crazy good. But sadly, in the German Cup, they beat us 1-0, and I think they won, the, they won the Cup. So the Super Cup is going to be between us and them, and in the Champions League. In the Champions League, guys. So in round of 16, we managed to beat Inter 5-1, which was really good. In the quarterfinals, I think, yeah, we won 5-1 against Juventus. This is crazy. Like, honestly, our players are on another level. In the semifinal, we eliminated Barca 2-1, and in the final, now we're gonna face Manchester United. Are we gonna win against United? We're gonna find out now. So let's see. In my opinion, our team looks much, much better than their team. But hey, they do have also Kimmich. Ooh, Kimpembe, Teze. Ooh, they do have a good players. But let's see. Can we win against Manchester United? Or are we not gonna win it? Yes, we won it. Barrows, two goals. Back-to-back -back Champions League winners. Come on. Nice. Barrows was the top goal scorer in this season. He scored 36 goals and four assists. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then Vinicius, 24 goals, 10 assists. And then Alonso, 21 goals and 16 assists. Whew. So far, it's looking good. We still do have two more seasons to actually win again everything back to back and actually complete our collection with trophies. So let's jump into the ninth season with München 1860. So beginning of the ninth season, this is how the squad is looking. Manager rating is going down and down, which is definitely not good. But we're still lacking of two players that are not a ninth or above 90 this is Gravenberg and Acuna the goalkeeper I think Acuna can develop Gravenberg too maybe next year they're gonna be 90 but I don't know which in which position we definitely need an improvement guys to be honest with you like in my opinion we're so stacked with good players that we definitely not need any improvements at all we do have so much money look how much money we do have we do have 134 million to spend this is ridiculous basically right now we can buy anyone like with Munich 1860 we can buy basically anyone right now this is crazy and i think it seems actually right to bring back the guy that helped us so much at the beginning Bauergan. he helped us go to the bundesliga and that's why i really want to give him the chance again to play for our club if we manage to get him like a champions league medal for me it's gonna be such a nice feeling we're ending the season 9 again as a champions back to back to back champions guys it's crazy what we are achieving here but sadly again we did we did not win anything in the cup guys we lost i think super early in the cup yeah we lost in the third round we haven't won the german cup so far this is crazy bad and D dortmund actually win it we finished our group as first place which was expected in this group like against perth of course we're gonna finish first then in the round of 16, we eliminated Barca. Super difficult in my opinion. 5-4 on penalties. So pretty happy with the result here. In the quarterfinals, we beat Olympique Marseille. 7-3 on aggregate. Super good. In the semifinals, then we managed to win against Manchester City 2-0. So pretty nice and then in the final we're gonna face now atletico madrid okay not a bad squad in my opinion but definitely a doable squad so let's just quick see come on come on can we win yes come on three times champions league winners let's go nice Barros is the top goal scorer with 29 goals and 6 assists. Then Vini Jr. 23 goals, 12 assists. And then Alonso 15 goals, 14 assists. Everyone is above 90 or 90. Just the goalkeeper is 89. But I think when we start the next season, he's going to become 90. So we're actually going to be able to achieve this target too. Sensational, guys. I really don't know who we can actually bring to this team to actually improve it. I cannot see any improvements, to be honest with you. Like This team, in my opinion, can win everything also in the next season. We're gonna aim for the german cup because this is the only thing that is lacking in our collection so let's just try to win it and of course let's try to be back to back to back to back champion in germany and also in the champions league come on boys
So for the beginning of the new season and the last one, we managed to get Erlin Haaland. We swap him basically with the Polish Lewandowski. So I think it's a great move. We are going to give him again the chance to actually win something and play a little bit in the Bundesliga, basically destroy the Bundesliga. And sadly, he cannot even replace Barros, guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And our goalkeeper is now 90 rated. So basically now only him and Gravenberg are not above 90. So I really hope this can change by the end of this season. Final season season final bundesliga title we won it guys four times in a row back to back to back to back this is crazy good sadly we lost in the final of this damn cup we couldn't manage to win it guys not even a single time in the all 10 years this is crazy bet in my opinion but hey what can you do about it but in the champions league we are again in the final so in the round of 16 we managed to destroy Aston Villa 4-2 in the quarterfinals we beat Manchester City also with 4-2 funny enough and then here this was crazy like 5-5 on aggregate and 5-4 uh, on penalties we won against Liverpool I really don't know how we managed to do that but we did and now is the big final guys the final against Barca so these are also the stats of the player before the final against Barca so here Barros 37 goals and 5 assists Jesus Christ this is sensational Vinicius Jr 22 goals 19 assists -hoo -hoo. Richter 17 goals 9 assists but this is how the squad is looking at the end guys everyone is above 90 which is sensational Richter sadly has a red card but I think he's 90 two or something so now probably we're actually gonna rely on Haaland in the final because we don't have any other camps so this is the squad let's do it I'm gonna play the last game against Barca because I really want to see how this team actually play Ooh, Barca strike first <laughs> what a goal from Barca Wow, I really did not expect that to be honest with you but they are taking here early the lead Wow what a bad defending from what a miss how you missed that bro wow what a miss from alonso come on now come on barros come on barros that's why you are starting in front of haaland nice what a go what a go oh i think haaland here is completely open yeah haaland here is completely open to vini to vini game over game over i think 78 minutes we won it four times in a row we won the champions league what a nice 10 season with Munich 1860 guys i really really hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it so much so this is gonna be the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed it guys and of course if so then please leave a like and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like that i wish you a great day and bye bye